afternoon and welcome to Asian Review. I'm your host, Lily Ong, hosting all the way from Singapore Changi Airport today. We have with us today Mr. To Bo Ju, he's the Vice President of Operations at Singapore Changi Airport. Welcome to the show, Mr. To. Thank you, Lily. Thanks for inviting. You're welcome. And uh, Mr. To, I know that since 1981, Singapore Changi Airport has garnered over 500 accolades, and 2015 alone, it had received 28 Best Airport Awards. Right. Um, I'm sure there's uh, collaborations or factors that went into making this airport the best airport year after year. Mm -hmm. um, perhaps you could talk to us about some of the tangibles and intangibles. Uh, what went into making this such a great airport? Right. Um, could we perhaps start with the facilities? All right, okay. Uh, so talking about the hardware in Changi Airport, we actually invest in a lot of uh, infrastructure in the sense that uh, we bring um, gardens indoor because Singapore is actually a garden city. Mm -hmm. So what we like to do is actually we want to bring uh, our passengers uh, to a lot of uh, uh, garden features. So we have the butterfly garden in Terminal 3, we have a cactus garden in Terminal 1, a sunflower garden in Terminal 2. And of course, we have orchid gardens, we have enchanted gardens. So all these actually bring life uh, to the airport because the greenery actually softens the touch uh, of the airport. So it makes it a bit, a little more stress-free for our passengers when they travel through the airport. Uh, in addition, we actually have an outdoor swimming pool. Uh, so uh, we are trying to target some of our transit passengers. So you know, if they have a layover of about say five hours, actually it's quite nice to go to the pool and have a swim before they actually catch the next flight out. Of mm -hmm. Singapore. Now you mentioned there's um, so many gardens. I imagine you have a lot of gardeners working here 24/7. Yes, yes, and, we do. And plant specialists too. Uh, we have uh, actually a horticultural team uh, that specialize uh, in, in plants. Uh, that is actually within uh, Changi Airport Group. And of course, we have our vendors to help us look after the plants and we'll do the watering every day. So, what's the size of some of these gardens that you mentioned? Uh, the size could be as good as uh, a basketball court mm. uh, type of size that uh, you're looking at. Mm -hmm. And how many species of butterflies can we expect oh, to find? Uh, well, just, uh, just an estimate. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's hard, but I guess we, uh -huh. we breed our own butterflies, so we have our own incubator, and then we release them after nine days, if I can recall correctly the, the incubation period. Uh, if I can recall correctly, maybe over 20 different butterfly species that we have here. Wow, and I'm sure there's a reason that goes into choosing certain flowers, like sunflowers and orchids. Yes, yes, of course, uh, we look at the weather element in Singapore. Uh, so I think these are the flowers that actually can sustain. And of mm -hmm. course, uh, some of the our gardens are outdoor and some are indoor. So for indoors, I think we have to look into the lights, uh, the proficiency of natural lights and of course uh, artificial lights to make sure that the, grow, the plants can thrive and grow in, in the airport. Mm -hmm. And this um, swimming pool, this this is the, the only one I've I'd heard of all the, all the airports I've yes. been to, and I've been to probably over 80 airports in the right. world. Um, this is on a rooftop, you said? It's on uh, in Terminal 1, yes, it's on the uh, higher level, so it's a rooftop uh, open air swimming pool. Is it accessible only to passengers in uh, transit? Any, yes, only for passengers in the transit, and it's actually a paid service, uh, which is quite reasonable. So if you have a good long hours of layovers, uh, it's actually quite nice to go for a swim out in the, uh, you know, and get some fresh air. And to get a suntan and when you're get a on suntan, transit, exactly, right? Yes, exactly. And just like some of the top airports, I'm sure there's shower facilities. Yes, and we all do have that. shower facilities, and uh, in addition, we have two cinema, a movie theater, so mm. you can actually catch uh, one of the latest screenings mm -hmm. uh, while waiting for your flight. And, and just a moment with the with the swimming pool. What if I forget to bring my swimsuit? Yeah, do you guys still just, just a moment? SC it's okay. You know, I really appreciate this kind of uh, announcement because if my flight is getting delayed, I would like to be informed. So this is right. good. Yeah. yeah. So okay, back to, back the, back to the swimming pool. Mm -hmm. Yes, I guess you can rent uh, um, equipment and uh, you know uh, towers uh, from from the vendor that actually manages the. Uh, the swimming pool. Because mm, I bet a lot of passengers didn't know that there's actually a swimming pool right, right here in right, the Changi Airport. Yeah. Yeah. And what other facilities are there? So we have uh, a movie theatre, like I said, we have two uh, movie theatres, one in Terminal 2 and one in Terminal 3. Uh, so it actually shows one of the latest screenings, so you actually can catch uh, you know, your favourite movies as uh, you wait for your departing flight. Do you provide popcorns too? Uh, we don't, but you can get popcorns uh, <laughs> uh, in the airport. Right. Um, of course, in addition, we do have uh, a lot of uh, playgrounds and play stations for our uh, passengers, especially for uh, families with little children. So, so we have very nice, uh, of course, it's safe. Uh, playground, uh, which they get they get to enjoy. And what are some of the what are some of the playground facilities? I heard about this taller slide. You know. Uh, yes, we, we have a taller slide. This is not a landslide, so that's also uh, 
allowed for non-traveling passengers to, to use as well. So that's one of the taller slides that we have. So it's quite easy. You, you just need to spend, I think, about $10. You get a coupon and you can just hop onto the slide. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, as you must qualify for the certain height limits. And mm -hmm. once you are eligible, yeah, you can actually enjoy the slide, mm -hmm. which is quite popular, especially on weekends. And how many other little small playgrounds? We, we have small playgrounds. I think last year we refreshed uh, one of our playgrounds with putting the Hello Kitty team uh, mm. because Hello Kitty is actually quite popular in Singapore. So we actually have that um, playground uh, built with uh, you know the, the characters from the from from Sario uh, characters. Mm -hmm. So this is what we do. And uh, in the in the transit side, we have uh, pretty uh, big uh, setups for for playgrounds, uh, which I think there are small nets. You know, they can allow kids to climb up and down. Mm -hmm. uh, and for the little bit of soft touch, sometimes we actually have our uh, Changi Experience agents that can help to look after the kids while the parents go shopping. Are those the ones that I've seen that's wielding these iPads, walking around in purple and yes, pink places? Right, right. yes, okay. yes, that's right. So the, uh, we have two types of uh, rov uh, agents. One is on the, in, in managing all the info counters and the other one are roving agents where they actually help passengers in distress if let's like, say they got caught uh, in, the, in the transit not knowing what to do and uh, these uh, roving agents can assist them. So I can go up to them essentially course, if I lose my baggage or yeah, if yeah. I want to know where, where to, to, go. to grab a yes, cup of exactly, coffee. Exactly. Wonderful. Okay. So other facilities that we have in the airport is we do have massage chairs. Uh, so they're all free for use and no need to put any coins. Oh, uh, wonderful. To, yeah, so they're all free to use and they are dotted across the entire terminals, uh, mm -hmm. all, the three, all the four terminals in the airport. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that's what we do to really create that. And these are the high-end high Aussie massage These are the Aussie massage chairs, right. yeah. So we, we work with them and then we put them uh, across. And then certain terminals actually have a full body massage. Uh, uh, but those, those are paid service? Those are also free. Oh, also free? Oh, free, yes. Oh, yes. As wow. long as it's Ocean Machine and then it's part of Changi Airport, it's, it's, uh, it's available for free of use for by our passengers. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I saw that there's a Schiller Sh um, Beauty Lab that offers free makeovers. That's right, they do. Um, free makeovers for passengers. Even in Terminal 3, we have um, a bar. Uh, it's actually uh, the managed by the, the Raffles uh, Long Bar. Mm -hmm. So they actually can uh, concord the, the Singapore Sling for you if you're departing. Of course, that's after the uh, after three hours, I mean, after 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, when you depart, you can just show your boarding pass and get a free, free drink on us. A free Singapore Sling? A free Singapore wow. Sling. Okay. Wow, yeah. and that's from the authentic Raffles Bar. That's really, that's wow. really. And I read about um, that's also a whiskey bar? Yes, there is a whiskey bar. I think they are kind of uh, together. So, uh, mm -hmm. of course, uh, you know, there is also uh, some distillations that you can see mm -hmm. uh, how this, this, uh, this uh, whiskey is being made. Mm -hmm. I, did, I did read that there's over 100 uh, types of whiskey that's, that's right. being yeah, sold there. That's right. that's and right. this is a great location because you're receiving a lot of high-end customers and, and so right. many push nationalities too. Yes, yeah. And is it true that only um, Changi is chosen as the particular location to sell um, special concoction of whiskey? Uh, um, I think it's a combination of uh, different reasons, but I guess it's also the availability of a space because uh, even though the airport is big, but we are running out of real estate space. So if right. anything that we can find, we will work with uh, our vendor to try and put it up. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and of course, we'll serve our passengers. Right. Well, uh, I had to imagine this place running out of space because this is so spacious. How big exactly is Changi Airport? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know how big uh, the exact size, but uh, the, in terms of capacity, uh, for all the four terminals, we can manage up to 85 million passengers per year. So, the, how many? 85 million passengers. 85 per, million per passenger, annual. and that's including the latest, the latest terminal, terminal four. four yes, terminal right. four. Right. So, which are the different airlines that are coming through? Are there and is was there a particular terminal that's dedicated to Singapore Airlines? Uh, yes, yeah, Singapore Airlines are they fly out of terminal two and three. Mm -hmm. uh, so it depends on the destination. So for shorter destinations within uh, Southeast Asia, they, they depart from terminal two, whereas the long haul flights are out from terminal three. And I know that one of the very competitive arm is the budget airlines. Do they have a terminal that's dedicated to just the budget uh, airlines? In the past, yes, but uh, uh, but in 2012, we, 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 we removed the budget terminal and then actually all, all the uh, low-cost carriers had to move into the main terminal. Mm -hmm. So across all the four terminals, you do see uh, low-cost uh, carriers uh, operating out of these terminals. Mm -hmm. And there is a Terminal 5 that's um, in the works, isn't it? Yes, it's in the progress of building the Terminal 5. Uh, so of course we projected in about 10 to 15 years from now that uh, mm -hmm. they will come into operations. Mm -hmm. But uh, we are currently building the third runway uh, so that we do see the demand of mm -hmm. uh, air traffic coming into, into Singapore. Right, yeah. I don't know what's the current hectares, but I know that with Terminal 5 it's going to grow up to 100 act hectares yes, yes. and serving um, easily over 100 150 million passengers. 150 per million. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's what we're targeting. Yep. Wow, perfect. Well, Mr. Toh, thank you so much. We're going to take a little break here, and when we come back, we can go into some of the service sure, um, sure. that you provide here. Okay, thank you thank so much. You. Thank
Aloha, I'm Kili'i Akina, and I'm here every other week on Mondays at 2 o'clock p.m. on Think Tech Hawaii's Hawaii Together. In Hawaii Together, we talk with some of the most fascinating people in the islands about working together, working together for a better economy, government, and society. So I invite you into our conversation every other Monday at 2 p.m. on Think Tech Hawaii Broadcast Network. Join us for Hawaii Together. I'm Kili'i Akina. Aloha. Hello everyone, I'm DeSoto Brown, the co-host of Human Humane Architecture, which is seen on Think Tech Hawaii every other Tuesday at 4 p.m. And with the show's host, Martin Despang, we discuss architecture here in the Hawaiian Islands and how it not only affects the way we live, but other aspects of our life, not only here in Hawaii, but internationally as well. So join us for Human Humane Architecture every other Tuesday at 4 p.m. on Think Tech Hawaii. Welcome back to Asian Review. I'm your host, Lily Ong, and we're here today at Singapore Changi Airport. Welcome back to the show, Mr. To. Hi. Well, Mr. To, um, this is more than an airport. This is essentially a shopping paradise. What are some of the shops that we can find here? Right, we recently opened uh, the Louis Vuitton, so it's one of the two only Louis Vuittons in the airport. And that's right there. And that's right at the back. <laughs> uh, so it's beautiful setup. Uh, of course, right in front of the Louis Vuitton, we have a crystal garden. Uh, if you can see the picture, uh, it's, it's a beautiful uh, set of crystals and of course with a very striking uh, blue carpet mm -hmm. that goes with it. So that's Louis Vuitton. Of course we have Hermes, we have Chanel. Is that um, Crystal Garden, is that sponsored by Louis Vuitton or that's separate? Uh, that's a separate one. Right? That's separate, separate yeah. alright. Okay, so we have of course Hermes, uh, we have uh, you know, some of the big brands, uh, YSL, we have uh, Zagna. Um, so these are the high-end brands that. And we how's have. the prices compared to? I mean, would I rather shop here or would I go? It's downtown? definitely cheaper than in the city because uh, we don't have uh, the uh, the goods and services tax mm -hmm. uh, over imposed in the airports because these are in the transit area, so it's a tax-free zone. And uh, do you know how the prices compared to say Europe or right, America? I think it all depends on your exchange rate, but so far I think Singapore is pretty content competitive. Mm -hmm. uh, so we do get a lot of uh, passengers uh, purchasing products here. I, mm -hmm. And I understand from the Louis Vuitton that they actually have special product just for Singapore. Just for Airport. Singapore, right. yeah, and I. Imagine you get the latest in the line as well. I would think so. Yes, yeah. that's right. Okay. Yeah. So, so these are the the services that we have, or the shopping that we.